Hello Internet! In this video, we're going to be creating HTML pages using Python and a lovely library called Dominate. Um, so the reason you'd want to actually do this, why would you want to create a HTML page with Python? Why would you just use like a, a content management system like WordPress and use that to create a website? Well, there are a number of reasons. Firstly, you don't necessarily have to create a website. Um, you could create an email that uses HTML. For example, here's one I made earlier. This email here is something that I've created myself. It analyzes stocks, gives me um, what the biggest rises are for that particular week for each index, and it presents them in many little tables. This is something that's a bit of a pain to get if you read any papers like the Financial Times. You have to get the Financial Times to see the, the rises or fallers for the week and you can't do anything on those sort of things you can't do any of your standard statistics so i built my little service that does all this sort of stuff um so in this video we're not going to go through actually creating all the stuff for the stocks we're just going to go through creating a html page using uh, python and dominate which is what underlies this email so let's get started the first thing i've actually gone and done before this video is i've just created a style sheet um, you can use your own, you can download one, whatever. This is just so we can make our table look nice and pretty. Um, so, first thing you need to do is you need to say uh, pip install dominate. I've already installed it, so I don't need to install it. Um, and that will obviously install dominate. Next, let's create a little thing. We'll call it main, and we'll go ahead and import uh, dominate. Uh, we actually have to import it in a slightly weird way because you, there's two things you can import. So you want to import dominate and also from dominate uh, tags, you want to import everything. Okay, so let's create a little method to create a table. So we'll say, I don't know, create, create page. And for this, we could actually pass in some data and then we could put the data on the uh, the website, on, on the page, sorry, on the table that we're going to create, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to do it static so you can see the basics of actually creating a page. I'm also going to quickly, uh, before I forget, call the method down here because I'll almost certainly forget how to do that. To do that. Right, uh, so Dominate has this idea uh, of a document. So we're going to create a document that we're going to work on and then we can do things with that document um, and it's going to create the HTML for us when we actually go to render it. So if we start off by saying uh, doc is equal to dominate document and then we can give it a title. This is equivalent to uh, the HTML meta title that you have on a, a HTML page. So if you go onto a website and, the, and you look at the tab, it will have a thing. It will say maybe Google or something like that. That's where uh, the title's coming from. This HTML thing here. I'm rambling, but let's 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 just do that. So we say title is equal to, and let's say I don't know, example table because I'm really creative with my naming. Okay. So now we have this document. At the moment, this is just a blank document. So if I was to say uh, print doc, and we run that, look at that. We've got already, we've got a basic HTML document, and we've literally done nothing. All I've done is say, oh, here's the title of the page. But we've got a whole document. So next we can start adding things into the body. But we're also going to do something fun, and we're going to add a, a style sheet. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the style sheet to the page. And the way we do this is we say with uh, doc.head. And this is very similar to if you've ever opened the file with Python. We just sort of say with, and then we operate on the actual part of the document we want to operate on. So here we can just say link rel. Well, what is it? It's a style sheet. So if you know your HTML, you, this sort of thing will look a little bit familiar to you right now. And then we can just say that the link to the style sheet is just style.css, which is the link to my style sheet. Um, if you also wanted, you could also um, add a script here, a JavaScript script. So you could say script 
type text forward slash JavaScript, and you could give it a source and say, I don't know, script.js or whatever. Um, we're, I'm not going to do that because I don't have a script to put in here, so we're not going to bother. Right. Um, now we're going to play around with actually the body. So if I say uh, with doc, you don't have to say doc without body, just doc. It will be fine. And what we do now is we can start adding elements to the page. So if we wanted to have a, a div, for example, you could do uh, with div like this, and we would say class. Notice that class is not spelled class, it's spelled CLS. Just something to be aware of, because I guarantee when you're using Dominate, you're going to type in class every single time. Well, I do at least anyway. So we'll give it a container. And then everything we do can be within this div container. Okay, so let's let's just quickly say, uh, I don't know, uh, hello world, right? So I'll say uh, h1. Uh, yeah, I need to say h1. And we can say hello world. Okay. Let's, uh, let's print that and see what happens. I didn't print it. I'm a clown. Right, we'll print it. We'll print the doc. There you go. So that's working now. Uh, if I was to just quickly actually out of Vim and I said uh, Python main dot dot index.html. Right. So this this the uh, these signs here basically takes the output of a file and sends it to a file, which sounds weird. So it, this is taking an output of a script, the Python script is going to print out the document here and it's going to send it straight to a, a file that we're going to call index.html. Now I might have got that the wrong way around, but let's have a look. I haven't. So if I now say open uh, index.html, look at that. We have a document that opens in a web browser and knows what's going off. Brilliant. So let's just get rid of the that. We don't need that anymore. Whoopsie daisy. And we'll go back to the script. Cool. I'll keep that print in there because I'm going to forget next time we want to print something out. I guarantee I will. So uh, what else can we do? Well, maybe we want to create a table. So we could say uh, with table, give it an ID. You know, maybe we say, uh, you know, table or we'll say it's the main table and we can also give it a class and so we could say table um, table striped because my style sheet that I've used is basically I've just copied bootstrap so it's going to use this uh, that should work I might have got that type wrong but oh well we'll find out um, and then we can also do things like we can have a table head, we can do the table rows, and we could iterate over something and add many table rows. Let's give it a caption. So you, could, you can also do this. You can say caption, and then you could pass in another element. So you could say h3, and you could say uh, a table to show data like that. Um, and then we can give the table head, so we can say with t head. That should be a function like that. Well, not a function. Um, then you want a table row, and let's just add some table headers. So let's let's just define some table headers up here because we do that. So we say table head headers, and we'll make it an array, and we'll say you know column one another one um, and that'll be the that'll be the last one there we go so now we've got some table headers right so what we can do is we can take the table row because a table row contains table cells so if we want to add many columns we add many cells here the way we do that is we can say for table head in 
table underscore headers. And we can just say th for table header. And we we'll just say table head. And that will create us a table header with all these columns. Now come back and we'll create the table body. So we'll say t body like that. And we can say, um, shall we create some data or should we just do it? Let's just, let's just make some random data as we go along. So we can say for i in range three, that'll work. We'll create, uh, so let's, 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 let's do this. Let's do for i in range 10. We'll create a table row, so we'll say with TR, and then we'll start creating our table cells. Now we've got three table cells, right? So what we can do is we can just say, um, hello, another one, and then we'll have another one, you played yourself. Right. So what that's going to do is for each one of these, it's going to line up with these table um, table cells. You'll see that when we print it out in a second. Um, this is really, really simple as you can see to just create a HTML document. And you sort of just follow the same sort of structure. You can sort of see how we're sort of creating these things that have nested elements, which is exactly what you have in HTML. Okay, so if we do this, we'll save that come out of it. We'll do that uh, same script again so we can open do that. Cool little thing you can do. Like I said, that is really cool. You can output your log of a, of a file, of a script to a file. Let's open that. And look at that. Really cool, how huh? We have really just created a really simple table using HTML. We've added a style sheet. You could have added a script if you wanted to, JavaScript or what have you. You don't have to. Got a header, we've got a caption of the table, we've got all these this data, and obviously what you could do if you wanted to um, make this better is you could add some data here. You could pass in uh, maybe a JSON object and you could have this iterate through correctly and you would just you know return the document and then do something with the document at the end of it. Uh, you can also, you could just save the document as well um, directly from here. So let's say, for example, if instead of printing it, we say uh, with open index.html, and then you want to say wb for write bytes as file, um, and then we want to say file.write, uh, and then we pass in the document that we've created. But we don't just pass it in, we say document.render like that, and that will render it, and it will also write it to a file. In this case, it's going to write it to a file called index.html. Okay, so we'll save that, and let's run the script. There's going to be no output, but it's going to create a file. So we'll do check that. Oh, there is a file there. Open it. We're expecting to see exactly the same as the, what we saw previously. And look at that, we have a cheeky little file that we've just created. Um, this is, you know, really simple to do. Obviously, this, this is the way I just showed you where we can output the file um, to uh, another file using the that operator, which is fun, but not great if you want to do this automatically. Maybe you want to scrape some data, see my videos on web scraping, and create your own HTML page using Python, and you could do it this way where we do the doc render method. But like I say, so this is just a sort of really quick introduction to um, dominate and HTML creation using Python. If you have enjoyed this video and wanna see more, um, you know, feel free to subscribe. Also hit the like button if you did like this video. Uh, if you have any comments, questions or anything like that, put them down below. I will try and answer the vast majority of them. Um, and if you have requests for videos, I do read pretty much everything. So I will try to make those videos if it's something that I'm vaguely competent at. So yeah, thank you very much for watching.